but I had gone down this um, sort of uh, optical rabbit hole uh, for the last few years. Um, I've been um, shooting a lot of stills with these, um, with the dream lenses, which are these 50 mil Canon lenses that I've been really um, into. And I got it in my head that I was going to shoot the movie with these lenses because they have incredibly thin aperture. Like it, they open to a 0.95 and um, at their, when, when, the, when the lens is fully open, it's really the skinniest depth of field you can imagine. Mm. And uh, that was part of the reasons why I, I was the DP of the movie because I said, okay, I want to shoot the movie myself. And so I just don't think it's fair for me to impose that kind of restriction on a DP where they would literally be stuck with my crazy lens choice that, you know, mm. probably end up getting them fired by the studio. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought I would take the rap if uh, anyone was going to take it. The lens, the Boken is so particular and so crazy. And um, there's a lot of tricks to it. I mean, by the time we got to the take shots, Marcus, my visual effects supervisor, they had sort of figured out the lenses. They knew how kind of they work. So that part yeah. was a big plus. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it was, it's funny because like the movie is really organic. Like I made it in a super organic way. And really what I think the, the, the shallow focus does is it gives this kind of weirdly claustrophobic feeling to like wide open spaces that I think is really an interesting and cool thing. But it's funny when we did the TIG shot, the TIG redo, you know, I shot this super organic kind of very creamy, like handheld movie. You know, I tried, we tried to shoot time of day. It was very specific lighting, uh, very organic lighting. And then, you know, when I was done with the movie and we had to put TIG in the movie, now I had to do the most technical redo of those same <laughs> shots that you could possibly imagine. Where I had to light them exactly the same on stage, on a dolly, everything wow. like matched perfectly in order to get her in the movie. And it's, it was really, it was really a double challenge, you know, you always go, you go into something thinking like, oh, this will be cool, like organic, loose, like low budget vibe. And then, then you find yourself, you know, a year later on a stage with like, you know, a giant, all the lights possible to make that one little moment look like it fits in outside. So it was crazy.